Hey, what's up everybody? I'm gonna demonstrate today part of the New Year's menu. This is our fourth course. Um, we're excited we made it this far in our meal. And uh, this is our beef wellington course. So we're gonna show you what's in the box. So when you get it, it's gonna come nice like this. Inside, we have our beef wellington. A little bit of cream. Some, this is our uh, sauce perigou, which is our black truffle sauce. A little bit of egg wash and our potato puree. So these things we're gonna set aside. The first thing we're gonna to need to do is make sure that our oven is at 425 degrees. And um, if you're following along in the directions, you already did that the first thing you did. So we're gonna pretend that you already did that part. And uh, you just enjoyed your soup course. So now it's time to get your Wellington in. So the beef Wellington, again, puff pastry. You wanna keep this as cold as you can until it's ready to use. And then the scored side up, so just how it is in the box. And then we're gonna egg wash this, put it in the oven for 20 minutes. So if you don't have a brush, like I don't have one right now, I'm just gonna use my finger. This is on a nice like baking sheet. So you can use a sheet pan if you're cooking a bunch of them. I just wanna get it nice and even. And again, 425. Tuck it in there, set your timer. And come back to that in 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, it's gonna come out and it's gonna sit for five minutes before you do anything else. Okay, so we'll come back. All right guys, so your 20 minute timer went off. 20 minute timer went off. And we're gonna go back and check out our Wellington. It takes me a while to figure out how to use these things. So. It comes out, nice and hot. What you wanna do is, you wanna take it off of the tray. Just let it rest for five minutes minimum. So we're just gonna let that hang out right there. Uh, while that's doing that, um, we're gonna start our garnishes for this. It's very simple. If you can lay your stove. So it's well, you know, things are, it's a classic. Um, so what we're gonna do first, sauce perigou. So again, it's a beef demi glace based sauce. This does not have to be super hot. So like I said in the directions, like if you have a microwave, like 15 seconds, just to like make sure it's runny and not cold. Uh, but what we're gonna do is warm pan, turn it off right away. And you do wanna get all those truffles out of there. There's a little bit of truffle and shallot. And then we use like a Madeira port and sherry, so trifecta of liqueurs, and sweet wines. Uh, in our other pan, again, hot cream. Right in. Your pan does not have to be that hot. I'm just showing off because we're doing a video. So, Robichon potatoes. Joel Robichon, uh, just an incredible chef. Probably really mad that his legacy is uh, potatoes that are 50% butter uh, because it is a very simple dish, but it's what everyone remembers it for. I mean, besides, he's just awesome. So I'm not putting this back in the heat until I work all of the potatoes into that cream. This is more of a potato puree and less of a mashed potato. So like you want it to be very elegant, rich, light, fluffy. Once if you overheat this, gonna burn and it will break because there's so much butter. So basically I'm just stirring, getting the lumps out of those potatoes. Because it should be very smooth and silky when it's done. If you're doing it and you're like, oh my god, I, I broke this. My there's, the potatoes are kind of oily, whatever you can do. The first thing you do is you don't freak out. 
Second thing you do is go to your refrigerator, get some cold milk, just regular old milk, and just put like a little splash in there. That'll emulsify that fat and bring it right back. You can see like how much butter is in here. Like these potatoes are like just loose in this pan, which is what you want. So I'm just gonna finish making those hot. And then by the time this is ready, we'll be able to go to the plate. And we'll cut our Wellington. So what I do is, this is again, it's completely up to you how you wanna do this. Like for me, you can just put it right in here the end of the year you know it's like you're gonna start your resolution tomorrow so just like a lot of potatoes if you want you can use one of these guys to put a little landing pad as it were for our Wellington the Wellington itself I like to cut right in half that's what you want to see it's like that and this is something that I did on purpose so like if it's starting to like fall over or it's, it's misbehaving at all you can always bring it off and you can give it a little trim on the ends just on the ends so that it'll stand straight up be nice and tight on the plate and we'll go get our sauce that's fancy camera work fancy camera work right there by our crack camera person and then the saucing part is completely up to you. I like to leave the eye of this beef, because it is so nicely cooked, open. So like what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come to one side and sauce. And you do want all that sauce. Like the potatoes will thank you, you will thank yourself for putting this meal on and for putting all of that extra sauce on here. So, Again, that is our final saving course before cheese for our tasting menu for New Year's Eve 2020. Uh, we thank you guys all so very much for all of the support um, to continue doing what we love to do. This menu means a lot to us. It's something that we wanted to cook, and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy. Be willing.